So for those of you who already have a set of my tools, you're in luck because here is an awesome tip for those of you who have a hard time putting the center dot in the center of your canvas. Um, so here's a tip to help. About a year ago, I was playing around with this and I don't know why, but I just kind of, I dropped it and then just stopped thinking about it and I just recently picked it up and I was like, you know, this definitely has to work. I mean, this just seems so right. And I've been playing with it and I got it straight um, and it does work. So you want to get a nice even um, crosshair on your tool. If you have a set of my dotting tools, this works perfectly. Um, you want to get you a, you know, a crosshair and then you want to draw your lines on up. So draw the lines on up the tool. So you get your four lines going up. And what you want to do is you want to line up these two lines on your tool with these two lines on your canvas. So say this is the center of your canvas right here. Well, you, you've got your tool and you want to line up these two lines with these two lines. So you want to get it like that. And then the other two will line up as well. Those two will, will be lined up as well back there. There. So those two are lined up. And then these two are lined up. It's hard to hold and keep still. <laughs> but anyway, that's what you're going to do. Okay, that's, that's the gist of it. Same with this, you know, the spacing is going to be the same. You get, I think you get what I'm saying. So anyway, all right, so I've drawn on some lines to practice on. Now, hey, this might take, you know, a minute or, you know, whatever to get used to this. It's, it's not going to, you know, just be like, boop, done. You know, you're going to have to take a minute and take your time, line it up and get that dot right on there, right on the crosshairs, and it should work out each time for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you're gonna get plenty of paint on the bottom of your tool. You don't want anything, any part of the tool showing. And it looks like a lot, but that's just what you need. And I'm gonna go ahead and line up these lines. So you can, you know, my paint's touching, it's okay, because it's right in the middle. You want to get it lined up before you push down. So that one I can see is lined up. All right, I zoomed in a little bit. Okay, back at it. So line it up so I can see that that line is straight on. And then I know I need to go back a little bit because this line is not there. Now I've got these two lines that I can see in my vision lined up with those two lines. So technically, that should be the center. Pull up, and it's right on. And let's do it again. So again, we're going to cover the bottom completely up. And I'm going to use those crosshairs, these lines that are running up, to match up with these crosshairs. Okay, let's see here. If I just lay it down, that one's lined up, that one's lined up. It's perfectly in the middle of the crosshairs. And we can practice again. Go ahead and get your tool. No. I like when the paint's at the top so I can just squeeze it a little bit. Here we go again, get your tool completely coated on the bottom. You don't want it running up the sides. You want to try to keep those pretty clear. And again, let's try this one. So I'm going to line up these lines with these lines. Those are going to be lining up too, but if I do it right. So I can see that this one is lined up. I turn over here, tilt my head over here, and I can see this one's lined up. And then you're just going to keep it steady. 
and there you are again. So, so it does work. Let's try the same thing with my orange tool. So it's a smaller size. All right, so I've got my orange tool. You want to get it completely covered on the bottom. And I'm going to go with this one here. And so I'm going to put, I'm going to line up. Let's see here. I should probably angle this down. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to line up this line with this line. And this line with this line. So I can see that this line is lined up. So before I push down, I want to tilt my head over here and make sure that this line is lined up. So if I can get this line and this line lined up, they should all be lined up. It should be in the center. And it is. It sure is. So it does work. Let's try it again. Just don't push all the way until you've got them nice and lined up. So I'm going to get that one lined up. I see that one's lined up. So I'm going to tilt my head over here and make sure this one's lined up. And that looks lined up. So again, tilt back and forth. I see they're lined up. Dead. And there it is. Alright, so let's try this paint. So I'm going to go ahead and Coat the bottom. It's good encoded. You want it good encoded. And there it is. Right in the middle. All right, let's try the next one. Here we go. Well, what do you think? What do you think? You like it? Is it a good tip or what? Try it with the metallic. All right, so I got some metallic paint on there. And I'm going to go with this one here. And there it is. That's it. So that'll do it. That'll do it for you. I hope that was helpful for you. And if it was, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And um, you can share this with um, some of your friends who may have the same issue and who could use a helping hand uh, figuring out how to find that center. So share the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Um, check out my other content. I've got about 60 other videos. Um, all on dot painting and tips for dot painting. Hey, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.